Hello reformers and welcome back to 108 Heroes. Now, when we left off, we were participating in a siege. We actually had a pretty pretty decently fun time. I actually almost survived, eh, kind of, not really, I guess. Because we did get shot in the face quite a bit of times and that, uh, that definitely made things a bit more difficult. Anyway, you may be wondering, why are we in a tavern? Why am I in a tavern right now? Oh yeah, there's a good reason. Hello there. Oh yes, okay, so I... I actually have no idea how expensive, uh, I don't know how much she is. 2,000. Okay, that's actually not even that bad. I was, I was thinking that we might have some problems there. All right, so we do have the advantage here, but I don't really want to send my new companion in just yet because I, ha I actually haven't even taken a look at what kind of gear she has or anything like that, but she does have a title, and I thought that, well, considering she has a title, she's probably going to be pretty strong. But obviously, I'm not that strong at the moment. Hopefully, I will be getting a title relatively soon. If I'm able to do something fantastical of some kind of thing, you know, maybe take a... Take a town or a castle or something like that. That might be kind of nice. Ow! Are you serious? Wow, he got murdered. <laughs> that was hilarious. Okay, so yeah, he was just like, Oh, I'm gonna throw these axes. And we were just like, No, you're gonna take my village, village polearm. Yes, your vill my village polearm right in the face right there, which was very, very satisfying indeed. Anyway, hopefully my forces will charge in relatively soon and then we will be able to get the killing started I have recruited a couple more units uh, along my time you know just roaming through the countryside back to the main area here because I, I kind of thought to myself you know what's probably gonna be a, a, a good idea it's probably gonna be a good idea for me to try and complete some more of the main quest because I thought you know what you know, participating in sieges and things like that, that's all very well and good, and it's a lot of fun to do so, but if you don't have the ability to, well, kind of progress in a meaningful way, and by that I mean to obviously do the main quest, then it doesn't really make much sense. So I'm going to try and see what I can do about completing as much of the main quest as possible, and then we will be participating in more advanced gameplay so to speak, because at the moment my forces, they're not actually bad, but they're just, I'll, I'll accept the surrender, even though zero enemies actually surrender. Anyway, point is, my army is not that bad, but it could be so much better. And if we just take a little bit of time to do that, I think we'll be in a really good position. But uh, yeah, what we are going to have to do, uh, apparently there is a quest. I'm not entirely sure if it's a quest or if it's some kind of event. But apparently there is something that I need to do before the ransom brokers will actually allow me to sell prisoners for a higher amount. Because I actually noticed that beforehand when I was selling Sea Raiders, that they only buy them for about 50. And that's really bad. That's really, really bad. So, oh, there we go. You've looted the enemy hero's equipment in the duel. And we gained a bronze cap. Well, obviously that might be pretty good for our friend so let's actually see whether that is indeed the case. Where is she? There she is. Okay, so hopefully she's got some good stats. Oh, she's actually using the same weapon I am. This is not a legendary weapon, is it? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, she's using it, so maybe it is. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's just as good. Okay, so she's using a white dress. She could definitely use something a little bit better. So let's try and get her some better armor, shall we? My Taoist magic, that's almost done. It's almost done, so I'm pretty happy about that. And let's have a look at her skills. She has 18 strength. Wow, actually really good. Very well statted. Look at that. She's got 5 power strike, 5 iron flesh, weapon master, shield, athletics, riding skill. That's really cool in my opinion. I feel like that is definitely someone that we want to try and cultivate as much as possible. She seems like a very sturdy companion that could become someone really, really powerful. And she's already she's already pretty powerful as it is, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Alright, so let's go and fight some more mountain bandits here. We were fighting sea raiders before, so let's fight some mountain bandits this time. And I will be accepting this particular 
duel here. Technically, I could have allowed my companion to do this, but I'm a bit worried about allowing the AI to take over such a... Mm, I, I, is it important? Is it an important particular thing to do? I think it is pretty important, especially considering these guys could have lances. Uh, yeah, like the, like this guy. He's got a pretty long pole arm. I don't know whether it's a lance, whether it can be used as a lance, but usually that does end up meaning that it's kind of a bit risky to tell the AI to do something. We've seen that in the previous episode. I don't need to remind you. That was abysmal. Absolutely abysmal. I don't know whether it was Pepto-Bismol, but it was abysmal. <laughs> oh dear. Yes. The jokes. The jokes. The wonderful, wonderful jokes. Okay. Anyway, we are going to do some damage to these mountain bandits, because some of them do tend to have horses. And I'd like to try and take some of them off their horses, because as you can see, they do seem to be pretty good with using their lance. Well, that's the thing. I don't even know whether they are lances. They might just be spears that are incapable of couching. So... We might not even need to worry, but I want to make sure that we have everything under control, even though most of our cavalry are going to come in here, and they're going to do a lot of damage. You know, they're going to do a lot of damage, so I, I shouldn't really need to worry too much. But even the most unskilled unit is capable of using a couch lance. I should know. I mean, you know, I'm speaking from experience, you know, like, uh, there's, uh, there's a strategy in some of the some of the harder mods and I'm talking mostly about Pendor here not entirely sure if you can actually do this in Perizno as well but I'm just talking about the harder mods in general here and I'm going to use Pendor as an example so basically what you can do an early game strategy is to try and find a blunt damage lance yes a blunt damage lance and basically just go around solo with a, well, with a really fast horse, whichever whichever horse you can get your hands on that is the fastest available, and go against, I don't know, maybe some Vanskiri Raiders, or just in general, some units that are not on mounts. And then as a result, you'll be able to take them prisoner super easily because you have that blunt lance. And even if you're level one, even if you're level two, as long as you have a decent amount of riding skill and uh, well, you don't even need a good amount of proficiency in pole arms because as you begin couching and killing units or knocking them unconscious in this case, you're gonna have gained, a, well, probably about 50 weapon proficiency in no time. And then you're gonna be in a really great position for you to be able to sell as many prisoners as possible. You're gonna have a lot of money as a result of that, and it's just really, really good. So it's a pretty decent strategy to do that. And uh, yeah, that's definitely something that I would like to try and do here. And that's exactly the reason why I'd like to try and make it so that our prisoners actually sell for a little bit more money than what they are currently selling for. So we're just gonna level up our forces here. I'm actually gonna move her to the top here. She has riding skill one, so she can actually use one of these horses. And I'm gonna give her, uh, which one's the fastest? Heavy saddle horse, I assume. Yes, heavy saddle horse is the best. So she is now gonna be on a mount, which is going to make all the difference with how fast she is. And we're gonna give her some ragged padded leather armor and she's already using a pretty decent helm so nothing else really needed there technically we could give her this shield so that she has a bit of protection from her back which might make sense i think that's okay all right all right so let's level up a couple more forces here let's go for some horsemen gonna start leveling up some more skirmishers from these fellows right here and we're getting some knights oh yeah look at that Wow, they actually level up again? They level up into Wolf Knights after this. Look at that, 250 weapon proficiency in pole arms. They have five power strike, four in shield, four in weapon master, six in riding. That's crazy. Very, very nice stats right there. All right, so we did level up once again. Oh, look at that. We have two, two skill points. I'm actually going to be leveling up my power strike and iron flesh once more. Let's go for some more in one handed. I should probably start specking into crossbows or something along those lines so that I actually have an additional option when we do sieges that might be a way to go so what we're going to do is we're going to fight this band of 42 sea raiders it's going to be a bit difficult maybe 
Maybe not. It really depends. Ooh, she actually has a... Wow. She actually has a special ability right there. Her special ability is to... A chance to confuse enemy per five kills. I didn't read the whole thing, but apparently she has a chance to confuse the enemy when she gets kills. That's really cool, actually. I would love to be able to get one of those abilities. Hopefully we will be able to reasonably soon. Maybe? Maybe? Yeah. Well, whatever the case, I am very much enjoying this mod. I gotta say, I I really do. Uh, it's, it's one of those that it doesn't... That's the thing. It, it, it's not trying to do anything super differently in terms of changing the scenes. You know what I mean? So it's not changing the scenes. It's not changing the uh, the siege battles and things like that. But I feel like the general gameplay is just really fun. And I think that's the main thing that we have to consider there. Anyway, these fellows, they are going to fall before us very, very easily indeed. Our name is Bear Wave after all. I mean, how can you say no to a bear waving at you? You know, it's going to be Yogi Bear all again, just going like... Uh, you know, gotta, gotta get picnics, boo boo, and so on and so forth. You know, <laughs> oh, that's a, oh, that's an old reference, isn't it? I don't even know. Have they done anything on Yogi Bear recently? I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe, maybe they have. Maybe there's a cartoon somewhere, but I, I, I don't think so. Not, not a, not an up-to-date one at the very least. But anyway, point is, a bear waving with his amazing pole arm. Actually, it's not even a pole arm. Technically, it's a two-handed weapon. So, there is that. It's kind of cool. I, I actually really like it. I, I like the fact that it's actually a two-handed weapon rather than a pole arm. And that's a really nice choice from the developers right there. Because if you think about a pole arm and how it works on a mount, it's completely different to how a two-handed works. For the most part. A pole arm is going to be much more rigid and a little bit less mobile, if you know what I mean. It's a little bit uh, a little bit harder to use. Let's, let's just say that, because I remember from Gekko Kujo, if you use a... Um, uh, what's it called again? A... Uh, uh, I can't remember the name of it right now, but it's the it's the classic classic Japanese pole arm uh, name, whatever that is. Uh, I can't remember what it is right now, so apologies for that. But anyway, the point is, is that if you're using that and... You try, you try, you can use it on on horseback, and it's recommended to use it on horseback, of course. But it is kind of, uh, kind of, di it's not difficult, so to speak. But it's just one of those things that you'd probably, you'd probably prefer to use a two-handed. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, hopefully you know what I mean. Anyway, the point is, we did gain some rather nice gear, and we're going to be giving that to our new companion here. So let's have a look. Uh, where is it? There it is, rusty chainmail. That's exactly what I'm using. Look at that. It's exactly the same thing. It's really nice. Okay, so she has some boots on that give her 17 armor, which is actually fine. And yeah, that's great. Okay, so she is good. She is good now. I don't think she has to worry about basically anything. So that's going to be nice. And let's just continue to level up a couple more forces here. And we are good. Okay, so I'm actually going to go back to the town now because I would like to see how many we've actually killed. Oh. Ah, I thought this fellow was just a normal, a normal bandit party, but apparently not. Apparently not. Okay, I'll give you nothing but cold steel, you scum. Yes. Oh. 51 against 79. Do you think we're going to win this? Place your bets. Place your bets in the comments right now. Do you think we're going to win it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. But what I do know is that I will be victorious in the duel. Because I've been so victorious in the past, haven't I? Ha ha ha. No. <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't. Not at all. Thankfully, this guy does not appear to have any magic. So we might be okay. He does have a bow, however, and he seems to have a lance. Ooh, that was close. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, we need to stay on his right side if at all possible. Let's try and take him... Oh no, I don't even want to take him off his mount, to be honest. Because he's just going to... Never mind. He's dead. Yes, that's what you get. Okay, so everyone is now going to start charging in here. I have to be very careful because I don't exactly know what kinds of units these guys have. Whoa, okay. Are you serious? It's the same guy. <laughs> it's the same guy. 
That is kind of weird. Okay, well, whatever the case, I will try to be as good as possible in avoiding the enemy's lances. As you can see, there's quite a few of them. And my forces are coming in from the side here, so that's really nice. He's using a bow. I'm gonna try and... Oh, what? Oh, they're brothers! They're brothers, or they're from the same family of some kind. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Okay. I was not anticipating that. I actually thought, wow, that, it's the same guy. <laughs> Looks like the same guy at the very least. They're wearing the same gear and everything. Oh, well, never mind. Okay. At least, uh, at least we are hopefully... Uh, are we are we losing right now? No, I think, I think we're okay. Even if we do end up losing a couple of units in the initial skirmish here, we should be alright as long as we can dismount most of the opponents because they are of course going to be much more dangerous than the rest because they will inevitably try to charge at us and try to get a massive couch on us or something or a sofa or a, you know bean bag ah uh, yes seating implements more more seating implements or, or, or things like that whoa look at that yes she's actually getting kills our companion is actually getting kills and she's actually activated her panic skill and it has actually caused a bunch of people to panic she has eight kills right now i am super pleased that we were able to find her and paying two thousand for someone so effective um i'm overjoyed with that absolutely overjoyed with that so yeah that's pretty cool i will attempt however to find some more as well so i'm i'm thinking that in my in my off-screen time in between these two episodes, in between this episode and the next one, what I'm going to try to do is I'll just go and run around to the various towns. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to run to the various towns, maybe recruit a couple more people along the way, and hopefully try and find some additional companions as a result. Because I feel like companions are going to be really special in terms of how effective our army is. Because you've seen she was able to get so many kills and it's so different from regular companions from native and from other mods uh, maybe excluding some of the some of the higher uh, higher difficulty mods because you know some companions in pendor are really powerful but these companions right here they are meant to be historic really good strong powerful warriors of some kind and as a result they are obviously going to be getting quite a few kills as you can see she's already gotten 10 kills in two battles and the first one she didn't even get any kills so that's pretty cool anyway this fellow did manage to escape which is unfortunate i actually had hoped that we were able to capture him but oh well never mind okay so i actually have no space here either i actually wanted to go and sell that was the main reason for me going back to the town initially anyway and my contribution has increased to 12, which is fantastic. Now, I don't know whether you can notice, but I actually have cows in the textures of my water here. Now, I think the main reason for that is because my textures folder is a bit weird at the moment. My installation of the textures folder is a bit weird, so uh, it, that should not be, uh, it should not be like that for you. So don't worry, it's not, it's not actually... A unique problem to this mod it happens in all my mods it's just a bit of a weird installation problem anyway point is i've eliminated some raiders oh 2700 really nice okay so i actually need to eliminate another two gangs of sea raiders by the looks of things okay so that is great let's uh sell a whole bunch of things here i don't think i really need to keep anything else unless it's like super good because maybe we're going to come across another companion. I'm going to keep the bronze cap, just in case. Oh, what is that? Okay, I'm actually being chased by a... What? Are you serious? Daj Dajin Hunters? Dajin Hunters? I have no idea. But, uh, yeah, that guy and that party of enemies is going to be way too strong for me to deal with. So I'm actually just going to head into... Uh, well, head a little bit deeper into Sea Raider territory. Look at him! He's actually following me still! Has he stopped now? I hope he has. Oh well, whatever the case. Let's just level up a bunch of our people here. Gonna get some more horsemen. Let's get some... Let's, let's actually split these guys. And we'll get some veterans as well. And we're gonna get some more, more knights too. 
All right, fantastic. Okay, so I actually did level up once again. So I guess what I'll do is level up my agility some more because I would like to get some more in riding skill. And maybe we should spec into shield as well. Uh, specking into shield is kind of not something I really wanted to do. Maybe we want to go for some more inventory management. Let's just do more inventory management. Let's be a little bit, a little bit selfish. Because even though shield is going to help us in sieges and things like that, I can just take cover if uh, if I badly need to. Look at this guy. He's actually following me all the... What? Are you serious? Get out of here. Get out of here, Shi Wen Gong, or whatever your name is. Okay, let's go and uh, tackle these, these fellows right here. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do this time is I'm going to allow my companion to go and do that herself. I think she's going to be fine because these are sea raiders. They, they're most likely not going to have a lance. And that's the main reason why I would generally not tell a companion to go and do a duel because a lance is just going to make it so easy for the enemy to win. So let's see what she's actually capable of doing here. I have full faith in her. She's an absolute monster, able to get so many kills in the previous fight. So pretty excited to see how she does here. And I will not press any buttons. I won't even switch weapons because I don't want to cause us to get an automatic loss. Okay, was that a good was that a good hit? I actually don't know. I'm not going to get too close either because I don't want to cause a disqualification. Is she is she doing good damage? I think she's doing good damage. Yeah, she is doing really good damage right now. I think. <laughs> this is this is kind of amusing. I hope she doesn't die. Could she could she just run around on on the horse a little bit? Oh no. This is a bit a bit problematic. I feel like this is a bit problematic. Is she gonna? Oh no! Okay, this this is actually fine though. I think she's gonna fight a little bit better off the horse. She did it. Okay, good work. Oh wow, she actually did a fantastic job right there. I think that she was maybe really close to losing, but once she was off her mount, it really made a huge difference. That was really quite exciting as well. Okay, so anyway, let's see if I can maybe help her out a little bit. I think she's probably going to have some issues here, but I kind of like to let my forces just go in by themselves. I know that there should be some tactics to be done here, but I kind of want to see how well she does up against multiple opponents at once. I think she's probably going to absolutely murder them. Oh, never mind. She's actually dead already. Okay, well, apparently she does not have a huge amount of shall we say, survivability at the moment. Maybe once she gets a little bit better gear and a little bit more HP, then she probably will be able to survive quite nicely. But anyway, I'm pretty happy with her performance in the duel, even though, well, I suppose the main problem with companions and AI and all that sort of thing doing duels and things is that they are not going to take advantage of horses as much as they potentially could or should because obviously on a horse you want to try and get as much benefit out of the speed bonus as possible but obviously they're not usually going to do that they're gonna just stand there and try and hit the guy and obviously doing that is not going to deal that much damage so once she was off her mount that made all the difference anyway there you go there's another sea raider party eliminated and i don't actually have any more space which is a bit of a shame so i'm actually going to ah yeah these are just sea looters. Oh well, never mind. Okay, I'm going to keep this leather armor because you never know. Maybe another companion we're going to come across and they will be needing some body armor or something like that. And we have a small band of sea raiders over here which we will be fighting. 45 against 12. All right, I'm just going to actually go really, really fast myself, and I'm going to eliminate this guy and all of his friends, hopefully very, very quickly. And uh, then we will be able to head back to the town and see what the next stage of our quest is going to be. I'm actually really intrigued about the quest because it's been a huge amount of time since I've actually played a mod that has a mainline story quest that is kind of not required so to speak but something that's going to make a big big difference to the uh to the to the game world i know that a world of ice and fire does have a main story mission and uh generally that will actually do something that will actually change something 
in the world, but I think it's actually quite a long quest, so I don't exactly know what it's going to change that soon. Do you know what I mean? So I think you need to progress quite a bit to get any kind of result out, out of it. So anyway, there you go. That is a fantastic win for us. The enemy's morale has plummeted significantly, and I will be eliminating a whole bunch more of them now. And I gotta say that this is, you know, this is probably the most effective character that I have ever made, mainly because of this weapon. Finding this weapon initially has been absolutely amazing. And I think some of you in the comments have actually told me that a legendary weapon or a weapon that can be upgraded can be upgraded dependent on the amount of kills that you get with it. So unfortunately, this is not a weapon that you can upgrade. I don't know whether it's a legendary weapon or not, but I know that you can't upgrade this weapon because it doesn't have any kill count. So there is that. Anyway, I'm actually going to be transferring a bunch of sea looters out of my prisoners here because I want to try and maximize profit as much as possible. And we'll just rescue a couple of extra people there and then just take some, some loot. All right, so I am prepared now to move away. Could you, could you just leave me alone, Sea Raiders? Thank you very much. And we're going to go back into the town. Can I actually do... Ah, oh, are you serious? Out of nowhere, these guys... Ah, uh, okay, well, 48 against 61. I think I should actually have a pretty fine time here, but this guy is going to be difficult. I believe he is a Taoist of some kind. So that's going to be kind of difficult. If he has a source of magic available to him, we might have some problems. But uh, it's going to be a bit touch and go. It's going to be a bit touch and go. Yes, he does have magic. Look at him. You see that? Yeah, that's the leader right there, but it seems like the, they are sending out someone that is not using magic, so we might be okay to at least eliminate a couple of people thanks to them surrendering and uh, hopefully reducing their morale significantly. So let's see if I can do that. Yep, easy enough. There you go. We, and we actually, look at that, we forced five enemies to surrender. Well, technically four. And that is really good. Okay, so otherwise, let's have a look and see if I can maybe do some damage here. I'm going to run along their forces here. I don't want to get my horse killed. So, of course, I'm going to try my best to avoid that. Oh, no. I'm a bit, I'm a bit worried because I really want to kill this guy. Ooh, he knew. He knew I was coming. Okay, I'm, I'm doing some damage to him. I don't know how much HP he's going to have. He's going to have a lot, I believe. So... Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. He's got a huge amount right now. Okay, that's a, that's problematic. Oh, there we go. We took him down. We took him down. And apparently... Oh, apparently uh, his brother is here? Has his, has his brother appeared? I'm not entirely sure. He said, help me brother someone. So I'm hopeful that he will not retrieve reinforcements. That would be bad. That would be very bad indeed. Okay, let's see if I'm able to help out my people. Ah, oh, a veteran lancer. Oh, two of them. Two, two veteran lancers being killed? I mean, technically we are outnumbered, so obviously that's a pretty big problem. But I have attempted to do my best to try and kind of negate that as much as possible by being as aggressive as I can with my weapon, so... I was hopeful, hopeful that I would not lose too many units as a result here, but well, it, it, it's actually not even a big deal because it is so early on in the game, I should be able to level up a whole bunch of units later down the line and have no problems with them whatsoever. But it seems like the main issue we're having here is this small contingent of enemies with their two-handed axes just kind of assisting themselves, if you know what I mean. So one unit comes up, and then all five of them hit them over the head with their big axe, and obviously that's going to make a pretty significant dent in whoever decides to step up to them. So, yeah, pretty bad idea there. But anyway, I'm actually wondering where my companion was. She did not get any kills there, which is a bit weird. Not entirely sure what happened, but anyway... This fellow, uh, he managed to escape. Uh, I was actually hoping that we would be able to take him prisoner, but no such luck. So let's just take a couple more Sea Raiders. Ooh, chipped golden mace. Looks nice. 
battered chainmail as well. That's actually better than what I was wearing. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I will take that. There we go. Fantastic. Very nice indeed. And our contribution has been increasing over a certain period of time, pretty considerably actually. So not too bad. Anyway, we're going to head back into the town here. We have eliminated all that we need to do. So let's have a look and see what Hong Jin has to say. There are still two gangs of raiders that need to be eliminated? What? Didn't I just do that? Well, whatever the case, I guess I will be doing that off screen. <laughs> ah, uh, yes. Oh well, never mind. Hopefully we will be able to see the next stage of the quest in the next episode, actually. So hopefully that's going to happen. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.